What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, I'm going to show you the brand new, all new and improved, or maybe not so improved, way to add sections to any SharePoint page. It's updated. It's new. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take that page into edit mode, you're gonna get the edit button, you're gonna be like, ba bam where's my stuff on the left hand side? Well, it's not there anymore cause it's moved, it's new, it's improved, it's different. You're gonna hover where you want that section to go, and you're gonna smash that section button, and then you're gonna figure out which section option you want, and then you're gonna go, blah, blah, and then shazam, look at there, it just added like a section right there where you wanted to have it added, and boom, you can go add your web parts and do your thingy thing. That's it. Uh, that is new. It is different. Uh, improved up for debate. Uh, but we're going to just pull back a little bit and talk about the new way of adding a section and then try and compare it to the old way. But I can't because, as you can see, I don't have the old way. So, all right, <laughs> here we go. We're going to go ahead and republish. And I keep forgetting to tell you all to republish. But you know that. I know you know this. Okay, you make changes to the thing, republish, and you know what? That brings me to another thing. Don't be up in here clicking on the edit button, okay? I'm going to show you what not to do, all right? This is what you don't want to do. You do not go in, make a change, or don't, even worse if you don't make a change, but whatever. Don't hit that edit button and then, like, just leave and shut down your computer, Okay, because when you come back, you're not going to see republish. It's just going to be like in draft mode and other people are going to go in there. And I believe co-authoring for pages is coming. But anyway, it's just a good practice. Just republish it before you shut down or whatever, because if you don't, then when people go that need to edit the page, they're going to see that you're in there and they're going to wonder what's going on. Although I will say, if you do not intend for general visitors to see your changes, then yes, by all means, go ahead. Uh, at the very least, click on save as draft, but don't just leave it out there hanging in the breeze. I think co-authoring is going to possibly fix that, but there'll be another video for that. All right, so I digress. You got to republish when you're done. Uh, and then we're going to go in and we're going to just pretend like we are freshly editing this this page and most likely you wouldn't see a blank an empty section there when you do this uh, but you know why that's there I just pre-baked that about a minute ago okay the old way on the left hand side you had this little thing that would pop out and you can't really see my hand on the screen uh, <clears throat> but it pop out over here and you could like add the sec you know choose to drop down and pick which kind of section and boom it would pop itself in there uh, but as I found out the other day, um, I, I swear I spent about like 10 minutes trying to figure out how do I add a section because I thought like something was wrong with my site or my page and, you know, did a little reading up and it's like, oh, there's a new way to add sections. So, uh, there's two ways you can do it that are new. Um, if you want to smack a section like on top of of in between your title and your first section you're going to want to use the plus button okay so you go plus and you can see i added this one here i can delete it i can add it again like i want a section on top of these images and underneath the title well i'm going to click plus choose what kind of section shablam there it is and you can just use that all over the place. So I want to go down here and add a section underneath this section. Boom. Section. One third right. I made it happen. And you can too. So with that, I hope this helps. Especially if you've been hunting and searching over here on the left hand side to add a section. This is the brand new updated way to add a section to any SharePoint page. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you. This channel doesn't exist without you. Let us know what you want to see, what you need to see. Let us know what you don't want to see. That helps too. Until then, do the very best you can with what you got. SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with
with my hands cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup on my pancake.